Welcome back, Attack. I'm Skyland Shore, and today we are going to be playing the new game, Moonrise. It is, uh, well, on the horizon here. Uh, it's not going to come out for a little bit, but I did get a press access here. I think the game is going to be interesting. It seems to be very much Pokemon-inspired. You're supposed to be going around and, I guess, taming certain creatures. Uh, it's going to explain it here in this little uh, lore video here. We are Wardens, <laughs> and um, so basically we are supposed to go around the world and purify, I believe, these uh, creatures. They are Lunaris, and we need to turn them into, I believe, Solaris. Anyway, so here we are going to have our character creator customize your Warden. I'm sure there's going to be more options later on. And if you notice, the UI and the graphics seem very matching of mobile devices, and that's because it actually will be on some mobile devices. It hasn't been announced for, I think, um, iPhones and Android, but it, it should be on the iPad. But I would really like to see this game on all mobile devices. Seems really cute and look really cool. Well, actually, it seems like we have a lot of customization, actually. Normally, normally in these kind of games, we don't, but, uh, pretty cool, actually. Okay, so, I don't know, let's see what kind of hair we got. Got crazy hair, crazy hair, crazy hair. I'm a fan of crazy hair, so. Oh, I wish we had more hair options. I think, I mean, to me, as a, as a European, you know, hair options is kind of important. I think every culture likes hair, right? Hair's, hair's really important. Okay, um, let's see, different colored vesties, it's pretty cool, this is really corny looking, it's really corny to be honest, but I'm fine with it. <laughs> uh, cargo shorts, <laughs> it looks so corny, but I, I like it, I like it, I can't, I can't say I don't, okay, this, <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous, let's see what the female customization's like actually, I got a couple different faces, I like them, kind of looks like Elizabeth from Bioshock. Oh yeah, we're getting there. We are getting there. <laughs> oh, the girls get a hoodie? Are you kidding? What? This is so, that's a really silly customization. Uh, not too much, I would like to see more later on. Um, like, do, do we have hair color? Yeah. Gotta get that blonde. All right, cool. And I guess, you know, that's it. Let's go, let's, let's get into the game. All right, so we get to choose our first Solari, I believe. I believe that we also have teams, but uh, we'll have to see. Um, obviously, water, fire, grass. We have Snap Trap. This crafty Solari channels the savage power of nature. Who would have guessed? And they also do evolve. Ember Jaw. This guy looks freaking awesome. Very Eastern-oriented design here. Okay, this enthusiastic Solari uses fire. Okay, yeah, and uh, ice or water. Ocean tides. Maybe the element's called ocean. I don't know. This guy's really cool looking. He's jellyfish looking. I have no idea what he could evolve into, but I'm a uh, fire guy. I always, almost always, go for the fire. So this guy looks pretty cool. I uh, yeah. Let's go with that. I like that guy. All right. So how does this work? We are gonna battle. Every graduating warden in guild history has taken the same test. All right. So please summon the first Solari by dragging him to the left. There we go. We got Ember John. It looks like he has four abilities. It looks like this is actually going to be a direct inspiration of Pokemon. All right, but in MMO form. There we go. Okay, so we only have one ability right now. Uh, he's got what is this? 57 health. He it says tier one. What is this tier one? Anyway, spirit focus. Spirit attacks are stronger. Strength attacks are weaker. So we want to use our spirit attacks, right? This is a spirit attack, which I believe would be the same as magical or uh, no, like a special attack, maybe. I don't know. You have, you have physical damage and special damage from Pokemon, so I think that's the uh, the thing that's going on there. There's a key, this key symbol, it's kind of interesting. Anyway, so and then we choose the target dummy, so let's use it. The animations look really nice. It's all, it's all running really well, too. Cool, we did our damage. I like the sound effects of this creature, it's really cute. Actually, I'm really hopeful of a lot of these creatures, as long as they're cute and uh, creative. I can't wait. Now, it lets me select Emberjaw. Are we going to be able to have multiple monsters at the same time? Kind of like how Pokemon has, like, the trees and the, the team battles. That'd be pretty interesting. All right. Now I'll use, uh, we'll attack the nature targets. Right. So just like Pokemon, rock, paper, scissors, Jenkin, um, we are going to be having elemental weaknesses and bonuses. So fire beats nature, nature beats ocean, ocean beats fire. There we go. All right, you've shown that your Solari can do. Now try to defeat a real opponent. All right, let's do it. Select my Warden. Um, my Warden? Oh, okay, so our characters actually have abilities as well. And he can use Flame Strike. 
Okay, so let's do this. Oh man, this actually, this is reminding me a lot of Jade Cocoon. If you guys have not played Jade Cocoon, you missed out on your childhood. It was an amazing game. Alright, so let's attack. Wait, is this a um, real-time battle? Is this not turn-based? Oh, dude, it's just like Final Fantasy. It's a uh, time battle. Wow. That's really interesting. Okay. So, my impression getting into this game, I thought it was going to be a lot less cool than this, but it has a lot of really cool features from a lot of really interesting RPGs, and it's kind of throwing them together. Yeah, it's Pokemon inspired, but it is not a Pokemon uh, remake. This seems actually pretty original. Okay, so it seems like we will be controlling multiple units at the same time. Pretty interesting. I don't know if we're going to have multiple monsters, but it seems the screen froze right now. Uh, it is beta. There we go. Okay. I believe alpha, maybe, technically. Yeah, we did it. Emberjaw's max health has increased. Enter your name. Uh-huh. I wonder what my name will be. Skyline. Nobody's going to take that name. A cured Solari can be recruited. All right, here we go. I wonder if it's going to be open world or if it's going to be like semi-open world like Guild Wars 2 is. All right, here's a Vincent. Hey, Skylight, looks like your test went well. Thanks, friend. Oh, Aurora. Ah, yes. Hello, Aurora. New quest, strutting your stuff. Visit the Lunari Trail and cure two Lunari. I believe that means to capture them. Okay, so now we are in the world here. I, okay, it doesn't seem like it's going to be open world. As you can see, very um, mobile-esque button layout here. You know, actually, I might even do a video of me playing it on my NVIDIA Shield because I can stream it. So maybe um, we can actually get a little demo there of what it's like on tablets. But if we can go on the Lunary Trail, can we actually uh, move around here? Here's some other players. Hey, Zerudo. Let's see, what's this? Uh, we got the Solari. What's the new Solari? And here's my current team. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just like Pokemon. Oh man, I like, the, I like this guy. Uh, upgrade your Solari, change their skills, and when they're ready, evolve them. So I don't think we're at a point where we can evolve yet. We definitely just got into the game. Okay, so we have Spirit Focus. So just like Pokemon, we have, it looks like, um, I guess kind of like natures, or the, you get like secondary uh, attributes or whatever with your character. So that's pretty cool. You know, actually, I just bought uh, the new Pokemon for my son, so hopefully he enjoys that. He's only six years old, but uh, I don't know, hopefully they like that. I think, I think Pokemon-like games should be more, like, there should be more of them. You know, uh, back when Pokemon first came out, there was Digimon and all that stuff, and I'm glad that there's like this nostalgic resurgence of the genre. At least, at least with a good game like Moonrise, a lot of them are pretty bad. But we see a lot of copycats like, uh, you know, the Pokemon MMO and stuff. Anyways, enough ranting about stuff. Let's... I just wanted to show off my enthusiasm for the game. Ooh, what's that? Your training will be put to the test out here in the wild. Yeah, let's go. Fight Lunari. Let's go. Oh, look at this guy. Okay. Well, let's throw him out here. Alright, real-time battle, forgot about that. Do some attacks. Now, this this guy is called the Growly. As you can see, he's a Lunari. He's been tainted by uh, an event called the Moonrise. Oh, he's really weak now. So, how do I purify it? Do I just beat it? I hope I just beat it. Alright, so we do our attack here. Okay, we beat it. Oh, so all you gotta do is uh, destroy it. Okay, so there's no, like, minigame. Uh, select the Solari for details. Select it, and this guy looks pretty interesting. Uh, does extra damage. Occasionally damages it's itself, though. All right, I see, I see. Okay. He has Strike, and he has Deliberate Strike. Uh, this stuns target interrupted and can't act. That's pretty cool. Cool. All right, so slam down the key, unlock him, or lock him, and now we've captured him. Pretty cool effects, to be honest. But then again, it doesn't seem like it's going to be open world. It's not like we're going to be, like, actually, uh, well, I guess, an RPG, in, you know, in a sense. We're not going to be going around with gym battles. Or maybe potentially, I don't know, but that's what it, it seems like it's not going to be like that. We're not actually going to have, like, a story component too much. It's mostly focused on the multiplayer combat, and maybe we're going to have, like, a competitive PvP atmosphere. Would you like uh, to battle more Lunari? I got to do two, so yeah, let's battle another one. Hopefully it's a different one. Oh, okay, we got a couple here. They look really creepy. We got a wasp-looking dude. My character looks so freaking serious, sorry. And we got this thing. This thing looks really interesting. I don't know what this is. This looks like some freaking, I don't know, mandrake root. Alright, let's 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 summon them. Can we summon both of them? Oh, yeah. I like the game feel, you know? I, I like summoning them. It's pretty cool. Oh, I gotta choose who to attack. So we'll attack this guy. And uh, for this guy, we'll attack this guy. Oh, there's cooldowns too, so we can't immediately do that attack. Oh, let's go ahead and just throw these out. 
Oh man, the battles are fast and furious. I kind of like this. Let's stun this guy. He's evading too much. I don't like that. Let's evade him. I mean, let's attack him. Hopefully he doesn't evade. Keep attacking. Oh snap, nuked. Bleh. This was uh, Rizo and Buzzle. All right. Drag down the key to recruit a Solari. How many keys do we have? Oh, okay, so just like Pokeballs, we do have a certain limited amount of keys. Um, why not get them um, both? Let's do it. Slam down to the hammer, or the key, really. I like this guy, he's really unique looking. Oh man, look at him. Yeah, you see, he is a root, but he flies. Ah, oh, so creepy. He is a support character. He heals, and he can do some damage. I like that, we need a healer in our group, so we are continuing. What is Buzzle? Buzzle, he's, uh, he has a lot of evasion, so maybe an evasion tank and zaps. Uh, that's it, just does some simple damage, huh? I don't mind that. That seems like a good addition to our team, yeah? Awesome, awesome. Mission accomplished, guys. So yeah, I, I freaking love Pokemon. I mean, from like, what, second grade all the way to now? Like, Pokemon is just something that's gonna last forever, and I, I don't know, I, I think this game is actually really interesting as well. Coming from a Pokemon lover. Okay, so I can move the camera really easy. It definitely has touch controls. As you can see, I'm dragging the screen around. It just seems like it's really meant for a tablet. So I definitely want to try this on my... Uh, streaming it to my NVIDIA Shield. That'd be really nice. Okay, Crumbling Ruins. Are we going to try the Crumbling Ruins? Floor 1. Let's do it. I wonder if we can team up with uh, allies. I mean, it is a, a multiplayer. It is like an MMO, right? So I wonder if we're gonna be able to like play with people. Like, if we can have three people each controlling two monsters or something like that. We have health crystals. What is this? What's going on? Do I? I'm gonna drag these. I I guess I'll get a couple of these. I'm not sure. I'm I'm fine with this. Let's let's just go. Occasionally, you earn keys by defeating Lunari. Okay, so there's a little bit of grind here. I'm sure you can spend money to get more keys. Um, but I'm fine with that, right? Yeah, I, th yeah, I think I'm fine with that. It's, like, it's not pay to win or anything. As long as it's not pay to win, I'm totally cool with this game right now. I, I like it. I understand the reason why it can't have an open world. Uh, as long as it has the combat mechanics, which it does, then I'm pretty cool with this. We got a shell fox. Oh, right. Summon the monsters. Battle starts instantly. Let's go. Oh, I don't have access. I can't summon all of them at the same time. Okay, so we can only summon two. All right, anyways. Do your attacks. Attack. Attack, and let's do our freaking nuke. There we go. Prime up another attack. Oh, he this guy blocks a lot, so he's a straight-up tank. Okay. I think this should be it, though. There we go. We finished it, right? All right. So let's, cap let's capture him. I mean, why not? We can have six people in our group, in our party, so let's go ahead and get it. So yeah, I do like that the combat isn't turn-based, though turn-based combat, you know, is still is very strategic. Um, it is a big problem in Pokemon. It is definitely something that uh, you have to get used to, especially when playing competitively, like in PvP. I think real-time is a little bit inter more interesting to me. So we're going through a, a dungeon. It looks like this is pretty much the gameplay here. This is going to be the main uh, component to the game. For PvE, it's going to be a lot of grinding. Uh, fighting a lot of these guys. I'm gonna keep summoning this guy because I really want to get him evolved and I'm gonna summon this my Rizo. so Let's uh, do these attacks. Oh That was interesting. I couldn't target him until he was done with that. Oh Dang nuked. Okay. Well, he was easy. Bye. Bye buzzle now. We already have a buzzle He's actually a lot higher level than our other buzzle but um, maybe similarly to Pokemon the the whenever you level up a creature from level one it's actually stronger so can we actually cancel do we have to do this drag the key or drag it up to dismiss it yeah so let's drag it up um i don't want to capture you friend you can you can go away now i want to complete this dungeon to see if there's like a boss or oh what, what is this use essences in the upgrade menu to level up your solari and improve their stats okay nice very very nice okay so ah oh. in pokemon i don't know if you guys know this but you have things called EV and IV points, and these are like hidden statistics. 
or I mean they're they're hidden as in it's really hard to get them they they change your attributes to your Pokemon and like it's really hard to actually uh, groom your Pokemon you can actually like level up their strength uh, specifically if you want a Pokemon for speed you level up their speed and you have to go and attack very specific other monsters so I think the way this game goes around doing that and uh, fixing that issue because it, it definitely is an unintuitive um, problem mechanic is that you get these um, essences and then you can equip them to your creatures what are these? These things look crazy. They look like unknowns. Obviously, I mean, I'm going to keep referencing Pokemon. Because this game is very much directly inspired by it. Come on, do your Kamehameha. There we go. So it seems it is a pseudo turn-based system. It's not like you can attack at the same time as something else is attacking. But there is still cooldowns and the such. So if you're too slow... You won't be able to re react properly. I like this system. This is cool. This adds some mechanics. Slight mechanics, but it's there. Very tanky. These things are very strong. They're toddler rock. Huh. There we go. I do want one of these. This is a three star, so let's go ahead and capture this dude. Bye bye And dismiss him, because we don't have any more keys. Alright, Toddler Rock. He's a three-star creature. I don't know what, I don't know what the stars really mean, actually. If it's just like a rarity. Uh, spirit attacks are stronger. Cool. And he has Stunning Shard. He has a Resurgence. And he has Strike. Okay, so he's got a heal? This is a heal, right? I don't know. Continue. Cool stuff. We're happy. We're excited. Good. My character's goofy as hell. <laughs> Alright. Reward, yay! Collect, and I think we finished the dungeon here, and we got another reward. We got a Solari token. We got uh, some coins, spirit essence, and ally block. Is that a uh, an ability? Is that one of our abilities? Oh, thank goodness! I oh, oh yeah, I was doing a quest. Yeah. Hello, Kumail. What's going on, friend? Yay, Danger in the Ruins, we completed it. You know this is the perfect timing. I'm on a trip doing research in dangerous places like the ruins, and I run into old friends who is now a warden. Mind if I tag along for a while? And what is this, we got a reward, more experience and all that good stuff. And then uh, this looks like, like a Professor Oak looking character, I don't know. Simple dialogue. I don't think we're gonna ha exactly have like, you know, Team Rocket story or, you know, too much like we have in Pokemon. But uh, anyway, so we did the crumbling ruins. Whoa, where's our character going? Nowhere. Our character's going nowhere. Let's see, we can pan over here. There's a Lunari Trail. I mean, so far, you know, first impressions, the game's actually interesting to me. Um, for somebody where, I guess, the RPG, the actual single-player component for Pokemon, has gotten a little bit uh, usual, it's a little bit tame to me. I think, you know, I want to focus on just building my team, you know, PvP. And this, seem, this seems like the game. It seems like a really, I think, awesome game for that. It's added some mechanics to the battling system. You play with more than just one creature. All in all, it seems really cool. I don't know how co-op or multiplayer PvP, I don't know how all that is actually going to work in the end. But first impressions, you know, for just playing right now, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty okay with it. All, all the mechanical and the gameplay features, it feels fair. Now, I, I, you know, I would have loved an open world thing, but we, we saw that and how it works out with uh, Shin Megami Tensei, with the Digimon MMO. We, we've seen it in other games, and it feels kind of weird. Now, Shin Megami Tensei is actually, I think, still a really cool game, uh, for, and it's free to play, too. But um, this game, because, you know, considering that it's, it looks you know, like it's going to be a great mobile game, I think that it's worthy. Definitely worthy. Definitely going to be one of the better mobile games. Like, top 10. Amazing. That's that's what I think. As for a desktop game, it's pretty cool. If it's going to be cross-platform, that's awesome. That's awesome. Anyways, so what do we got here? We got... Oh, we do have a bunch of different areas that we will be exploring. Hopefully, this will be expanded upon, too. Nice. I'm cool with this. Some Cinnabar Islands, bruh. All right. Okay, so we can't go anywhere else. Um, what is this? We can talk to people, add friends. Awesome. Wait, what are these? Uh, okay, it's just that. Uh, what is this? This is our story, and we have challenges. I wonder what challenges are. If they're just going to be like daily things that you have to do, like win a battle with a fire spirit, or if it's actually going to be like um, you have like a very specific challenge where you have to go and very specifically fight a certain creature. I don't know. That'd be pretty cool. Anyways, use Solari token. All right, let's do that. 
Oh, wait, you can replay the story. That's nice if you skip it, in case you forget where you're going. Um, so where's their inventory? Solari, and then here's a curtain team lineup. Looks pretty cool. I like him. Uh, can we move this guy a little bit up ahead? There we go. Five, four, three, and two. And I, I want to level this guy up. Anyways. There we go. Um, but what, what do we gotta do? We gotta consumables, and we, we have PvP. I don't think we can get to it yet, but we'll check it out. Uh, Solari token, use this token to spin. For, okay, let's use this. Okay, so you've heard of it. My ancient key rings, A. Which one would you like to spin? We have the Solari booster pack, Solari key ring, and the fashion key ring. Um, I guess we will go with this, this thing, yeah. I clicked it, and I got a key. Oh, whoa. It gave me a random creature. Whoa, this thing's like really strong too. It's called the Blister Bug. It's a four star creature. It's level one though, but it's rare. It's got four skills. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome. Serendipity, bruh. No, I don't have any other keys, but uh, that's pretty cool. A little bit of randomization there. Hopefully you can't, hopefully you can get like really um, rare monsters in this game by trying instead of buying. But I, I am gonna assume that it's going to be like you can buy it. Okay, so we can go to the gateway now. Let's go check out uh, this other place. Water Solari use debuffs to weaken enemies. Okay, so each element has a general purpose. Waters are debuffs, and I believe there was something about lightning. Maybe lightning is um, like paralysis type of abilities, like CC abilities. Uh, earth would be... Well, nature would be healing and earth would be tanking. Stuff like that. Okay, so here we are. It's not like totally open world, but we do have some towns we can uh, go and explore in. I mean, it looks pretty cool. I like this. I mean, this is still fine. We still have a, a social experience here. It's pretty cool. I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. So, what's in the tavern? We gotta go to the tavern, guys. Alright, here's Kumail. He's telling me stuff. Uh, use essences. Oh, yeah. It's probably gonna teach me how to use my F essences. Upgrade your Solari using the main menu. Alright. Okay. Solari. I believe we have to click this dude. Release into the wild. No, thank you. That button should be way smaller and put away somewhere else. Mm-mm, scare. I can't evolve him. Still still a really long way from evolving. Pro mi mi would it be 16, level 16? Probably would be. All skill items. Let's see, I got uh, this thing, ally block. Anyway, so how do I use the main menu? I probably should listen. Okay, I gotta listen to uh, that dude. Here's the quest. Okay, so um, have you started using those essences you've gathered to upgrade your Solari? Sure, they get better at everything over time, but it's worth specializing a bit. Uh, so, yes, exactly what I was saying before about the EVs and IVs, that's what this is all about. You can view your Solari team by opening the main menu, choosing Solari, select the Solari in your current team to view upgrade or its stats. Right? Didn't I not do that? I didn't see an option. Okay, there's Solari. And then hit view all. I got Emberjaw. Yeah, here's, here's my dudes. Here's my dudes. It's like my little Pokedex. What's going on? So, here's Emberjaw. He's, he's my dude. So, um, change skills. Let's see, I can drag a skill. I don't have any other skills that he can learn here. No, I want to upgrade him. I thought I had an essence. Did I not have an essence? Where? Oh, it's upgrade. Okay, we got to go to the stats here. Hit the essence buttons to add them to the upgraded master meter. Oh, sorry, meter. Oh, uh, watch. Eye on the other screen here. Um, let's see. Armor, spirit, speed. Hmm. I mean, there's not too much being thrown at me. I'm I'm having fun. All right. So since he's all about doing like big attacks with spirit, should I should probably just upgrade spirit? I think. There we go. Or... Well, I have two for armor and four for speed, so I might as well just use it. Whoa, is this going to level him up? I don't have enough gold. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's reduce the armor, forget the speed. Do we have enough gold for this? Yeah, we have enough gold. Can we do another one for speed? Yeah. Okay, we're good with this. Level up. Okay, so that's how they balance it. Very interesting. So in the end, all of the stats should be, like, accumulative. And as long as you are the same level as another creature, it's basically fair. Stronger, faster, better. Nice. Very good. It seems like this game is very balanced so far. That's just my initial thoughts. I'm pretty excited to try some PvP. Defeat a warden student at the tavern to earn gold. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go to the tavern. Let's go. Buy a drink. Challenge a warden. Let's go. Uh, challenge a student. This is what we got to go to, and we're going to go have our last battle for the first impression. I'm going to end it there. Uh, let's go do this. Let's have some fun, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Come on. Let's do this one last battle. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, he's got a hoodie? I want a hoodie. I was all about hoodies. So we're going to summon this guy. We're going to summon this guy. All right. Do the big attack on um, whatever this thing is. Some Zubat looking dude. I think we're going to heal this guy. We're going to heal our guy. Oh, yeah. We got to do a nuke. Let's hit the, uh, the train here there. We have a Zingbat. Oh, I like how it's Zingbat and not Zubat. And a Whiffle. How adorable. Did the damage. Now we can do our attacks. Attack him. And... Oh, we finished it. There we go. You win. Pretty fast battle. These are the starter battles, though. But I like how, like, fast and furious they are. Like, how much control and how much impact that I have with all my creatures. It's really awesome. His max health increased. Max health increased. Everyone's max health increased. I wonder what's up with that. Are they leveling up when they're doing that? What's going on with that? Anyways. I think I think that's really cool. Because at the start of Pokemon, you have like one Pokemon with like one ability and then it slowly gets another ability and it's it's overall very slow. This game, it kind of gets you into it very fast. I like that. It feels good. It feels pretty addictive. It feels like it wants me to get into the meat and taters of the game and uh, go and play with other, uh, well, players. What might? Okay. So, I'm having fun with this. This is Moonrise. I didn't expect too much from it, but considering especially that it is also going to be a mobile game, um, and like also all these new mechanics that they're introducing into the Pokemon formula, it's very cool. But, for those who really like the single player component of Pokemon, going around, traveling with your Pokemon, the, the surfing, the HMs, the puzzles, all that stuff, if you enjoy that, you're not going to get that in, the, in this game. But if you really like the combat, and especially the PvP, the competitive side of Pokemon, this is a game that's worth trying out, I think. Absolutely. So thanks for watching. I'm Skylight Shore with Attack Gaming. This was my very raw first impressions, guys. Very raw. I've, I've like just heard about the game. I just got into it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to keep notified. Yeah, come back, Attack, and we'll see you again later. Welcome back, Attack. Today, we're going to be talking about the top 10 free-to-play MMOs for this year, for 2015. And I think across all the genres for free-to-plays, we've seen so much innovation in MOBAs, in MMOs, in, like, card games. We've seen so many new things this past year. And hopefully, maybe, probably so, 2015 is going to be just as exciting.